Anyway, um, yeah, I'm still not very fond of this boss. I think it's easier if you kill all the baby piranha plants, but that's actually, I'm completely positive that's what I've done in all my other runs, but, um, why not fix what's broken? I mean, unbroken, I mean... Okay, fine, I'll try switching a stupid color. I think that probably disaligns it or some, or like makes it not attack for that turn or something. If there's a reason to bother doing it. And Mario, your lack of defense and for some reason the graphics looking weird there and making me miss all the time and various problems in game that aren't just me having bad timing. Okay, let's see what that does. At the very least, you won't heal this turn, which is probably gonna... Okay, I really hate the stupid hammers in this game. I, I remembered hating them, and then after playing Bowser's Inside Story and Partners in Time, not really knowing what was upsetting to me about them, but the fact that in this game you can only hold them for like half a second before you die, and it takes like three minutes to recharge your hamometer, and not... and it just seems like... well, it doesn't even seem, it's just Luigi is naturally back too far, and how did Luigi's health get so low when he was never taking any damage? Whatever. I don't even care, I like Olympic failures. And I love how, for some reason, I thought maybe I would have to jump one after the other on that. And that thing... it's just annoying, I'm not used to jumping before it spits the thing. I mean, yeah, I guess that's what she said, but still, but still, this is probably going to take up a bulk of a part, but okay, yeah, that didn't have too much health because it was a stupid douche, but anyway, um, good job, Luigi, you invented teabagging, and now, Princess Peach's plane lands while Mario and Brothers and uh, yes, Mario and Brothers are dangerously close to the landing strip. This is a sound idea. One, there was a minion with a evil witch in his hat running around. Hooray, good theme. And hooray, audio cutting out. Oh, don't you think that if we were Mario, we would be able to jump? Hush, everyone, Princess Peach, was a representative of the Mushroom Kingdom, brings greetings. Spider Bomb... Mario, Luigi... I'm not gonna try to voice Peach either. Although, I will voice my discontent at the brown anti-aliasing. What is the deal? Is there some kind of anti-alias that's brown just because Peach has yellowish hair? Oh, I'm told you Was never stolen. Wow. Yep, so basically just wasted a bunch of Mario and Luigi's time because they don't appreciate them for all the hard work they do. And also the only reason... The only time Peach wasn't actually successfully kidnapped or absorbed... Um... It was because of a completely different kingdom. The Mushroom Kingdom has problems. Hooray, wow. Birdo reference for no reason. What is this, Captain Rainbow? Duh! As you can see, every time your activity looks better than theirs. <laughs> Uh, 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 how is... Couldn't they have, like, sort of gotten someone there sooner to tell them before they went on adventures to kill Cacoletta, who didn't technically do anything? I mean, instead of Bowser's and Inside Stories getting killed by the Bean Star, they would have just sort of get blown up by it and be angry and be failures as villains and go off in a corner and sell beans somewhere to babies. That does not sound like a very government-sanctioned activity to sell badges to babies. But anyway, by the way, no, that's not my Peasley voice. It apparently broke into four pieces which seem to be lost. And so I am off yet again. I must sally forth to look for the pieces of the Bean Star. You two can relax here and enjoy some sightseeing in our kingdom with fair Princess Peach.
So as this game turns into sightseeing RPG, this is just like, yeah, screw you RPGs that have people go on epic quests, I'm gonna go look at a tree, I mean, uh... And it's also sort of amusing that the first thing once you get to the Bean Bean Kingdom is go to the place meant to look like the boring mushroom kingdom you came from. I, don't, I think there's a reason places in real life aren't built around what vegetable you resemble, even though mushrooms aren't technically vegetables. Mushroom. It's a town full of toads who have immigrated this land. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say something about why didn't any beans come to the mushroom kingdom. <laughs> This calls for an escort mission! Yeah, basically, that's all Toadsworth is good for. And his sprite looks weird in this game, along with Bowser's. Although Bowser's hasn't really caused me any problems lately. Mario, Luigi, won't you take me? Yeah, Luigi knows what it, the deal is here. So Mario hammers him. I... I think I might have actually said this before, um... Your punch is not good, but I'm not in charge of it. Yeah, um, I might have mentioned it already, or I might have said, okay, I need to quit talking about Bowser's Inside Story all the time, but regardless, I like how in Bowser's Inside Story, instead of having a hat appear above the ground like in the first two games, um, you have a little arrow pointing at where you're at, and I mean, that's where you at, uh, where the underground guy is, and although that's aesthetically a little less humorous, it doesn't bother me as much because I can accept that they aren't cutting holes through the topsoil like they should be if their hat was somehow sticking through. Although, maybe video games aren't meant to reflect every single practical aspect, and uh, maybe it's not entirely practical to be underground from being hammered in the head, but I don't know, if you're going to overanalyze that, things at that point, you have some kind of problem with enjoying video games. So yeah, that whole hedge maze for... Five invisible beans is pretty good deal, I guess. So anyway, yeah, for the next six or seven parts, I'm just gonna be farming coins this way. Hope no one minds, but I needed some better equipment. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but um, I actually was just sort of gonna head on to Little Fungus Land, but. Actually, it does seem like a pretty good idea to see if there are any better slacks or anything I can get. And see if I somehow acquired enough beans for the next level of coffee. And by next level, I mean A level. Although the power ups probably aren't that great. And by power ups, I mean stat ups. Let's see, which are the. Why are all these taking my hit points down on Mario? I guess because the Oho Gene. Yeah, Oho Gene Wire gives you a lot of def a lot of hit points but like no defense or something because no it happens to Luigi too although he also has a Hoji wear so that wouldn't really say too much so yeah for some let's see do I want poison dodge or first strike or super cool and for what it's worth the super cool ones are more strong and I don't care about first strikes because I'm pretty fast already and I don't care about other things because I'm wholly apathetic towards my gear and most RPGs. Oh, Oracle. That's what she said, I guess. Anyway, this is pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. Um, Louis, I think Thunder is generally more useful with my computer on sleep mode. Covers HP with solo jump attacks, and because Mario technically. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, Apparently, Mario does more damage with jumps, and Luigi does more damage with hammers, and I never figured that out in my three or four playthroughs of this game. But that's kind of neat. Um, and since Mar- I guess it's because Mario's jump man, even though, in all logic, Luigi should just be better at everything because he's in much better shape, but... Uh, Mario sure has positive aspects. I just- 
Or I didn't just realize, but I don't like how the trees all have weird growths coming off of them. I mean, it's okay, but sort of unnerving. 